Hi everybody. Welcome back to Synthetic Biology 1. Today, I want to talk about the yogurt that we made in the lab. It looked delicious, didn't it? All thick and creamy, but unfortunately, we couldn't eat it. We had to take all of that yogurt that we made and dump it in the biohazard waste disposal. And this is in spite of the fact that it was probably perfectly safe, right? I mean, there was nothing in it besides milk uh, and, and yogurt starter culture. It's the same recipe that people have been using in their kitchens since forever to make perfectly good yogurt. So why did ours have to go to waste? So the short answer is because it's the law. Uh, depending on where you live, the laws might vary a little bit, but the idea that no food is allowed in the lab is very universal. Uh, typically, like a lab, a lab space will have regular inspections by whatever government agency is responsible for lab safety, and if they see any food or any signs of food, the lab gets huge fines. Like something as simple as a Coke can in the garbage, right? Like maybe you didn't even drink it in the lab. Maybe you just threw it away. It doesn't matter. You're still busted. Uh, if you work for a university, then the university will probably also do inspections because they want to catch the safety violations before the government does. And uh, the universities, they don't go easy on you just because you work for them. They will also find labs. Uh, they also don't screw around. And between the university inspections and the government inspections, it's not uncommon for a, for a biology lab to be inspected every few months. So, okay, so be good, we obey the law, we don't get fined, that's easy. Uh, but there's also another reason that is really a part of lab culture. Uh, and if you're new to a lab, I think it's, it's good to pick up on it so that you can fit in with all the other super smart professionals that work in your lab. Basically, food in the lab is it's taboo. Every scientist that I've ever met has this instinctive fear of food in the lab that goes beyond the rational. Uh, you could put like a big scary spider in the lab and then a candy wrapper next to it. And the scientists would be like, ah, a candy wrapper. Get it out of here, get it out of here. Uh, it's, it's a reaction that comes from the gut, not from the head. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what the law says and it doesn't really matter if you can get away with having food in the lab because if you do it, it, it will freak out the other scientists and it will make you look like a weirdo. And of course the law makes sense, right? Every lab, even a biosafety level one lab has weird chemicals everywhere. You never really know where they might spread. So you basically, you have to treat every surface in the lab, even freshly washed glassware, uh, like it was covered with, like, with a thin layer of toxic poison. Or at least that's how I think about it. And it's why I always wear gloves in the lab. Uh, I always wash my hands and I never even think about eating. Okay, so until next time, bon appetit. Thank <laughs> you.